Hey guys, it's Crystal. Today I'm going to be doing a What's in Your Bag video. So here's my bag. It is the Louboutin Never Full Bag. Anybody who carries this bag knows it is a ginormous bag. Um, and before I get any negative comments stating that my bag is fake, I am fully aware that this is a replica bag. Anybody who watched my designer, designer bag collection We'll have saw that I did disclose that I do have some bags that are replicas. Not all my bags are replicas, but I do have uh, quite a few that are. So here is the inside of the bag. As you can see, it holds a relatively large amount of things. Anybody who has this bag, whether it's a replica bag or the authentic bag, knows that this bag is humongous. So I'm going to start with what I have on my D-rings. This bag does have two D-rings, one on either side. I do have um, things attached to both of them. So on the first side I have this little pouch that actually came with this bag. So obviously this is a replica as well. And this bag opens up almost all the way, you know, on both sides. And the inside of the bag is um, a grayish, kind of velvety, foamy feeling texture on the inside. I have not gotten anything on it, so I don't know how easy or hard it would be to clean it. I'm guessing this would be relatively hard to clean, um, judging by just the way it feels. So in here, I have um, a little lotion. This is a Bodycology lotion. I use this brand as well as Victoria's Secret lotion. Those are mainly the types of lotions that I use. This is the brown sugar vanilla. And this came in like a little set my mom had given me. It was like a gift set of like five different types. And this is the one that I'm currently using now. So I have that in there. Uh, I also have a Blistex, so definitely can't go anywhere without that. Love this, especially during the winter months, because my lips definitely get chapped. I also have a little compact mirror in here. Pink is my favorite color. Everything I own is like pink, or has pink on it. And I also have two pens in here. Both of these are like my favorite pens. One is a Uni Jetstream pen. I love this pen. I love gel pens. And this pen writes really, really well. I love this pen. I'm like addicted to it. I have a ton of these in my house. I have like enough to like probably last me the whole year. And the other pen that I have is a more expensive pen. This is a Cross pen. Anybody familiar with that brand knows these pens write very well. This was like a $45 pen. I obviously did not pay $45 for it. I had a discount on this pen. I would not pay $45 for a pen, but um, I'm sure, you know, people who can spend $45 on a pen do. Uh, <laughs> but this is a good pen, too. I really like the way it writes. Usually I also have gum in here. I actually just used my last piece of gum up in my pack away, too. So that also will fit in here too. So this little pouch thing does hold uh, a lot of stuff. Then on my other D-ring, I'm going to take this off, I have this, which is the Louis Vuitton Multicolor Pouchette. Now this, I'm not sure if this is real or not. I'm assuming it's not real because I bought it from a thrift store. Sometimes you know, if you go to, like, a consignment store, of course, you can get real things. This, I don't think, is real. Um, but it is a very, very good replica. As you can see, the leather has oxidized on here. Um, it has the new zipper that Louboutin uses. And the inside of it does have the red lining. There is no serial number on here. And then it does say Louboutin Paris made in France in the stamp that they use. And in this, I don't have too much stuff. It, it does hold 
a lot of things. This would be a great, like, little makeup bag. I don't want to put makeup in it because I didn't want to mess up the inside of it. But, um, in here I have my Victoria's Secret Angel Spray. I love this spray. It smells so good. This is the only of the travel size sprays that I buy in this fragrance. It smells great. I love the packaging on it. I think it's too cute. And then the other thing that I have is a Victoria's Secret Shimmer Lotion. This is the Amber Romance smell. Love this. Gives you a little bit of shimmer um, on yourself. Um, I don't really use it on my face. I'll mainly just like put some on my chest or on my arms. So this has a little clip. Uh, that also you can clip onto the, um, a D-ring. And you can take this, you can, you know, remove this if you wanted to. And you can clip it to your D-ring that way, too, if you wanted to have it long. So, and then on the same side as that D-ring, there is the flap on here that says uh, Louis Vuitton. There's no serial number underneath this flap. Um, and this one's actually beginning to rip, so you can kind of get the quality of this bag. Obviously, it's not a real bag, so, you know, you get what you pay for quality-wise, but I really do like this bag. And, okay, so, basically, I have a daughter. I have a toddler. That's why I like to carry big bags now, and the reason is because most of my bags do need to double as diaper bags. So, uh, what does most mommies have in their bags? Some spare pull-ups. My daughter, I took her out today, so that's why I have that in there. And then I have her leak pad. So, there's a toy in there for her to play with. Um, these things are great, too. Um, part of review-wise, I love this thing. It keeps her occupied. Uh, very good learning tool. And the only thing that I would have to say is the games for it are a little bit um, on the expensive side. Sometimes you can get them on sale or clearance, but they're like $25 a piece for the games, which I guess is cheaper than like a DS, a DS, a Nintendo DS, and, you know, they can learn from them, so it's not that bad. Then I also have a uh, carry around a snack for her, she wants a little snack, so I have a little Chex Mix bag. Then, let's see, I have... My wallet, this wallet definitely does not go with this purse at all. Usually I'll try to have a matching wallet for my purse, but I just had this one, I threw it in there. I love this wallet, this wallet is so cute. As you can see, I have used it a ton. This is my Victoria's Secret wallet. Uh, one side of the bag says Impulse, and then the other side of the wallet says Guilt. And I don't know what you guys, but that's how I usually do my shopping. I do a lot of impulse buying, and then afterwards, I'll even feel guilty, especially if I spend a lot of money. So, the wallet fits me perfectly. On the wallet, you'll see the little charm on here. There's an angel wing, and then a heart that says VS. And then on the inside of the wallet, it has two sides. One side says plastic, which is obviously for your plastic credit cards, uh, driver's license, anything else. It has six slots on there, and it says Victoria's Secret. And then the other side says paper, which I'm assuming would be for your cash. I also have my coins in there. And then there's a back pocket as well, which you can fit. It's about a check size. I have some checks in there. They fit perfectly, and then a whole bunch of little random cards and receipts. So it holds um, all of that. It's a bright pink, which, as I said before, pink is my favorite color. So absolutely love that wallet. Let's see, I also have uh, a book in here. I work overnight, and it's, I do have some free time on my hands. Um, so I do have some downtime. Or if I'm, like, traveling or something, I like to always have a book with me. If I'm sitting somewhere, like, getting my car worked on or something, then that comes in handy. 
And then, let's see. I also have a pencil case in here. I need to take this out. I don't know why it's still in here. I was going to do it the other day, but this little pencil case, a bunch of pencils. I also have a little scribble notebook, which I love this notebook. It's great. Um, it's kind of like a journal type of notebook. has a little strap thing on it to keep it closed. This one um, did have blank pages. They don't have lines on them, but it's great in case you needed to jot something down, take a note. It also has a little stringy thing so you can keep your place. What brand is this? This is ecosystem, so it's the recycled paper, good for the environment, go green. Uh, let's see, I have McDonald's coupons, I love these. They send them to me, I'm like, oh, a little piece of heaven in the mail. So we'll definitely get to use these, especially at work, take them with me to the drive through what is best for a bootleg purse, but a bootleg DVD to go on my bootleg purse. So we got a movie in here. Twilight Saga, Breaking Dawn Part 2. Definitely great to have. Working overnight can watch a movie if I feel like it. And then just to give you an idea on the size of this purse, I have got a FedEx envelope in here. So it gives you an idea on the size of this bag. It fits nicely in there. It doesn't stick out the side, so you can see. And then, of course, I have all my mail that I just got out of my mailbox that I've been opening and going through while I've been at work. And that's about it for as far as uh, what's in my wallet, uh, in my in my bag. And I have my keys, which I can throw in there, too. So, those will go in here. Right now, I'm driving a rental car. Let me just tell you, I love this key for this car. This is, like, the cutest thing ever. You, like, I press this little button, and bow, there's the key. It's like a little switchblade, almost. But this car, I love this car. They gave me a um, Mazda 6. This car is great. It's like my little race car. It's 2012. I love this car. If I could do like a car review on it, I definitely would. That car is absolutely great. Anybody who drives one of those, two thumbs up to you guys because I freaking love that car. I'm in the middle of getting a new car, so I'm actually thinking about looking at some of those. That's one of the good things about rental cars, especially if you're like, like, in between cars, and you're, like, renting a car for now, which is what I'm doing. Especially, like, if, if you're gonna, like, have one long-term, you can probably, like, trade it in every week and get a different one. So, if you're gonna go get a car, if you're looking to buy a car, that's better than, like, test driving a car. Because when you go to test drive a car, you're only, like, literally test driving in, like, four, ten minutes. But when you rent a car, you have, like, a whole week. So, you actually can get the feel of the car if you really like it or not. That has nothing to do with what's in my purse. But yeah. Just wanted to let you guys my little story right there. So, anyways, that was what's in my bag. Um, I do love to watch what's in my bag videos. So if anybody wants to give me a video response of what's in your bag, I would love to see what's in your bag. So that's all I have for today. So until next time.